Okay, did I finish the crossword puzzle this morning at Ken's? So the uh, mail opening segments are getting a little boring, so I figured I would just do it like this from now on. Uh, I've already opened everything, basically. And this is what today's shipment looked like. This is a USB power supply. Current meter. Pretty excited about this, actually. It's gonna be pretty fun to mess around with. Stereo jacks. And I have all the parts for this. So I uh, ordered all the parts for the microcurrent meter on Digikey and I got those in this weekend too. So hopefully soon I can put this together. A lot of uh, SMD parts, as you can see there. But it uh, should be pretty fun. So this weekend I started uh, messing around with these transistor sockets. Um, I don't know if you can see it in there. But I got a few of them from Surplus Gizmos. Hold on, I'll go get the whole pack. I actually picked up quite a few sockets at the half off sale. Anyway, I thought these uh, little transistor sockets were gonna work out pretty good so that we could, uh, Jeremy and I could swap out the transistors and the pedal to play around different ones but the way the uh, the pins are they're offset and uh, here, I'll just grab one out of there that's kind of bent but anyway they're uh, very much offset and in the in the breadboard as you can see here um, let's get, get a pointer here all right as you can see here they're all in line. So, I was thinking, I already tried to put one in and it was pretty painful, so I'm gonna take that one out. And then I'm gonna use these just basic breadboard headers. I'm gonna cut them to three, and then uh, place those down there. I think that'll work a lot better. All right, first things first, let's get this, this socket out of there. Tried to bend them in line and uh, yeah, that didn't, that didn't work out very well. If anyone needs any uh, transistor sockets, let me know. All right, now let's see if I can actually trim these up. So you want to cut. Usually, you want to cut one extra pin from what you need. So like, I need three pins, so I'm going to cut right here beside the fourth one. As you can see, usually falls out. One of them does. So I don't know. There we go. This should work. Got these from uh, Surplus Gizmos too. Five bucks. Medium clean foam ESD swaps. Probably could just use a uh, Q-tip as well, but use a shut. All right, finally. Now they're in another bag. A little alcohol. Nice thing about these is that they don't leave any uh, that fuzz like the Q-tips do. one. All right, there we go. Now we can change out all the transistors pretty quickly. 